out. Basically, this tab over here was hanging up. But this is the back part of the flywheel that's supposed to be attached to the other. These two tabs hold it together. But like I said, the bearing had let go in there. You can tell there's a lot of thick grease in here, but you can tell that it had been dragging right there. That's from the flywheel actually touching the casing of the housing. Those silver marks in it. It's only on the bottom half, it's not on the top half. Now, inside here, I don't know if you can see, but inside here, hang on, let me pause. Okay, inside here, like I thought, because I saw another broken part, there's a bearing. It is. See that? It's just floating around in there. And it's, as you can see, there's that. There's the flywheel. It should not look like that. It's just covered in grease. There's the part where it was hanging up inside that spring. There's where the other tank comes out. It was busted there. And I found this, which is supposed to be circular and round. And it sits inside here to attach that to this slip right here. So that's how the, that's how the two halves separated. This is a ring snap ring that's supposed to go around here, hold it to the other part, and prevent the flywheel from coming apart in two halves. That's exactly how that, and that became separated. And I believe the one that's rattling around inside there has something to do with it as well. I still can't get that release bearing to let go, so I'm thinking something is probably trapped behind here uh, on that fork. So I'm going to try and get that to release now.